Hey everybody, uh, it's Matt here, and today I have got Skechers Men's Delson 2 shoe in the navy colorway to have a look at. So I'm going to give these ones a try and see if they might be a good option for an all day standing walking shoe on hard surfaces and that sort of thing. I've tried the Delson 3 already, I know I'm kind of working backwards here, the 2 is the previous model, but there's some pretty good deals on these at the moment which I'll stick some links to down in the description there uh, for you if you're interested in getting yourself some of these. I actually picked these ones up at Costco for $45 Australian, I think it is, and you can get them in the US on Amazon for like 30 bucks at the moment. So really cheap. And little spoiler alert, I did get the Delson 3s. This is what I've been wearing for the last few months. So obviously I like them, but I like the look of the Delson 2. And it has a lot of the same features as the 3 with a few differences. So I really wanted to try them out, see what I think, because if I like them, I'll grab a few of these while they're super cheap. So let's open these ones up and check them out. So I have got the US Men's 11, which is the same as what, what I usually wear. And that's what I've got in the Delson 3. So that US Men's 11 converts to a UK 10 or EU 45. As you can see, they are a fairly smart looking shoe. We've got a navy upper and then this really light gray midsole and outsole. Now, if we start from the top and work our way down, we've got laces. You might recall from my video on the Delson 3 that it has fake laces. This one does not. It has actual lasers that you can tie up. However, this is still a slip-on shoe. The tongue is all fixed. It's a little bit elasticized around there, same as the Delson 3. The only difference is, instead of elastic laces, we have normal laces here. So we can do them up however we want them. And then it's more or less set and forget. Just slip on and off after that. It is a synthetic and textile upper. We've got this really nice textile toe box area and a synthetic upper with a synthetic faux leather. So we've got that in like the Sketches logo on the front here, also around the heel here. And then we've got this kind of almost suede, but not, I guess it's almost like a blue fake leather that runs around the side of the shoe and over to the other side around the ankle. On the inside, we have man-made lining and we have this really, really nice, I'm quite a fan of it, dual insole. The majority of the insole is the Sketches air-cooled memory foam, which I don't really like their memory foam, to be honest. I prefer this bit. The Sketches Goga mat. I really like the Goga mat insoles, but Sketches don't like to put them in the shoes that I like. They won't insist on putting the memory foam in there. Sketches, if you are watching this, put Goga mat in more shoes like this. Please. That said, I found in the Delson 3 that I really like this blend of memory foam. It's the Coco Mat Arch Support. So I'm expecting I'll like it in these ones as well. Continuing down, we have this EVA foam, which is all man made for the midsole, which also serves as the outsole. So it is a softer foam outsole that gives it a fair bit of cushion all the way through the shoe. The midsole and outsole is predominantly glued and it is also stitched around the heel area here. The insole is fixed. It is glued in and will not come out. So you can't really change it, but it's also not gonna move around, which is nice. So that's these shoes. Let's put them on. So as always, trying this with my trusty Skechers no-show socks. Now, as I mentioned, it's a fixed boot. Uh, so it's slip on and um, it's easy enough to get in. I do think a pull tab up a bit higher would be good. But we do have this kind of bow leather section here that you can use for that. So to use them as a slip on, we don't want to do our laces up super tight. We could do them up every time, but that kind of defeats the purpose of being a slip on, right? All right, so there we go. That's them on. First impressions, that memory foam. I'm still not a fan of it, admittedly, even in this style with that mix with the Goga map. It does feel better than just the memory foam on its own in my opinion, but it still does that weird thing where it doesn't actually go to the edge of the insole. And I find that is what really gets me personally. I want my insole to go all the way to the edge of the shoe. And so I feel like it still doesn't do that. Whereas I don't notice that in the three, evidently they fixed whatever that is with the three. So these feel quite nice. I definitely like how they feel on. There's plenty of cushion and comfort. Definitely feel nice. I do think they're extremely comfortable. In my opinion, I think the midsole and outsole is firmer than what you'll find in the Delson 3. I don't think they're quite as cushiony and as comfortable as that, but that memory foam and Goga Mat blend still works well. I quite like it. I do think that under the heel in particular, it's a lot firmer than I had anticipated these ones would be. I can feel a bit of a draft coming through, which I need to 
fix but I can definitely feel that blowing straight through the mesh in my toes there, which is nice. I feel like these look really smart. And at that price, you can't really go wrong with them. I mean, it's certainly a compromise in a few areas, I think, for me. I do feel like the toe box area is reasonably wide up until you get to kind of this end, very end area of the toes here. But it does taper off a fair bit here, and it does lose some of that width. Same with the height. I feel like it is not quite as high as... It could be, particularly over my big toe here. So in terms of fit for me with the US Men's 11, the fit is about what I would expect with just under an index finger's width at the front of the toe. So that is the Skechers Delson 2 shoes. They do work really well as far as a slip on, slip off or lace up shoe with that ability to tie your laces at whatever point you like. You can tighten them up. That works perfectly well. And it doesn't appear to bunch up the shoe, I didn't think. Uh, they are quite a comfortable shoe. I think they'd be quite good for standing in a lot on hard surfaces. I do think there's a little bit of room for improvement, which I think they have nailed on the head with the Delson 3, personally. So I would definitely go that way. But if you're looking for a much more cost-effective option, these ones are great. I really like them. Brilliant price, really nice shoe. I think they look super smart. Also, for me, my opinion, Great coming into spring here in Australia as well, this colour. I personally think they actually look nicer than the Delson 3s. Obviously, there are some trade-offs here, but at that price point, I personally think you can't go wrong. So I think these are a great option for an all-day walking shoe that can also serve as a smarter, like, casual dress type of shoe. So that's it. Make sure you check out the affiliate links down in the description for more info and pricing on these and pick up those deals while they're available. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you give it the thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.